Now we're gonna take a look at the respiratory arrest case, and you are the ACLS team leader, and you've come across a 25-year-old male patient that appears to be unresponsive. A witness states that the person was wheezing and having a very difficult time breathing before they collapsed. The scene is safe, and all personal protective equipment is in place. Now your first step is to make sure you're practicing basic life support before we get into advanced life support. The first step is to verify if the patient is unresponsive. So you direct the team member to tap and shout. The patient does not respond, so you call the code team. Next, you direct a team member to check for a pulse and for breathing. The patient is not breathing, but does indeed have a pulse. The team member at the airway should place a basic airway adjunct and start rescue breathing with a bag valve mask at 15 liters per minute with oxygen. The leader will direct the airway person to give one breath every five seconds. It's important to look for good chest rise and fall to make sure that the breaths are effective. Next, the leader directs the DFib monitor team member to get a set of vitals and attach the ECG monitor. The vitals are blood pressure 100 over 70, pulse is 120 and weak, O2 sat is around 94%. The ECG shows a normal sinus rhythm, and since the ECG is normal, oxygenation is good, and the BP is stable, we'll need to continue giving breaths and consider what caused the respiratory arrest. In preparation for further treatment, an advanced airway should be placed and an IV established.